This is the glitchiest offense in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. It's filled with unstoppable glitch routes. What the hell was that? And multiple one-play touchdowns against every defense in the game. So if you want to see what explosive offense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll once again be going over my number one offense in the game this year, my gun stack wide flex offense out of my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook. This is the second video that I put out from this formation breaking down this offense, and I have a bunch of brand new plays that I will go over today. But there are several plays that I went over in the original video that I will not be touching on today. Plays like the corner strike, the curl combo, and the Z spot, all of which are very good plays, but based off of the new plays that I have, they're really not 100% necessary. But if you guys want to see those particular plays or more break Breakdowns from this formation. I will have links in the description as well as an on screen pop at the end of the video, so stick around for that. But before I get into the video, as always, if you guys are liking this content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And if you need more help or you want to see more money plays like this, consider checking out my ebooks. I'll have links in the description and the top pinned comment. All you have to do is click those links and you can download my ebooks instantly or have them sent to the email of your choice. Now, the first thing to go over when running this offense is the audible plays. I typically have changed my audible plays throughout the entire year. Year, but I feel like I got it down to a science where there's really only six plays that I use, maybe seven. I'm going to go over them all in this video. My four audible plays, though, are all designed to be around the one play touchdowns. The first play that I always have in my audibles is the drive H wheel, which is a one play touchdown against most man coverages and cover three as well. My second play is typically always going to be my run play, whether you like the inside zone or the halfback quick base is really up to you. My third play is typically going to be the fade out, which is a one play touchdown against some man coverages as as well as cover three and cover four. And then my last play is going to be the PA read, which is a one play touchdown against cover two man and zone, as well as cover four match and regular. So with those four audible plays alone, I have one play touchdowns, multiple one play touchdowns to different areas of the field against every single defense in the game. After that, I really have three plays left over to choose as my fifth play. If I'm running against somebody that's running a lot of man coverages, I will choose the sale and pivot as every single route on this play is a man beating play. But if I have somebody who's kind of mixing in and out between the two sometimes they're running man sometimes they're running zone i'll go with the y sale because most of these routes beat both man and zone where in the sale and pivot they're really just all man beaters and then my last option if i want to throw a curveball at my opponent is to run the halfback slip screen as my fifth play which is something i'll choose from time to time if my opponent's playing a lot of deep coverage as a safety and stuff like that it's best to sometimes hit them with a slip screen because they'll be the furthest away and they won't be able to make a play on the ball now before i get to the one play touchdowns i'm going to start off with my favorite money play from this formation which is going to be the y sale like I said, this particular play really beats man or zone, uh, and it doesn't need any adjustments, which is one of the best things. The two routes on the left side, on the stack side, are very good uh, man-beating routes. You have your zig route, which is something that's typical of beating man coverage, and you've got your in route, which is something that's going to beat man coverage pretty much every single time as well. Then you also have the tight end, which is running the sail route itself, which is a very good man or zone beater, based on the fact that there's a receiver next to him that will stretch defenses down the field, allowing him to get open around the 15-yard marker pretty much every single time regardless of what defense you're looking at unless your opponent has their zone drop set to that distance if they do that however the table route that the running back is on will also get open against any zone coverage underneath so the easiest way to run this play is to split the field in half if you're reading man coverage the two routes on the left side will be best if you're reading zone coverage the two routes on the right side will be best the streak does nothing but pull back coverage then like i was saying earlier if your opponent is running a lot of man coverages the sail and pivot is probably the best play you really can't beat that as every single route here is going to beat man coverage the only route i really don't deal with too much is the in route even though it does beat man coverage it also takes the longest and this is pretty much my number one play when it comes to people that are spamming man zero blitzes or man cover one the first route that i look at every single time is going to be the tight end as it will get open for large catch and runs pretty much every single time based off the fact that the in route pulls any other defender in the area of the field inside giving you nothing but running space outside once you catch the ball doing that too often though will eventually get your opponent's attention and they'll start to use the tight end which is fine at that 
point, you can really just hit the other zig route, which is on the other side of the field, which typically breaks inside, meaning that your opponent left in the middle of the field, making this a wide open throw. As far as a run play, the only run play you really need is the inside zone. I find it's the best, but there are a lot of people that really like the halfback quick base, including a lot of pro players. So it's really up to you to choose which one you like more. I personally run the ball every single time I see a light box. If I come to the line and I see that my opponent is in something where he either has uh, only five defenders to my five blockers, I will run the ball every single time with the inside zone. If they come out, even if they have six defenders, if there's not a lot of second level defenders, a lot of times I'll run the inside zone based off the fact that once you get through that first level, there's really nothing there until you get to the safeties. My second most used play is going to be the drive age wheel, which at the beginning of the year, I mostly use this for the wheel route itself. As I showed in previous videos, the wheel route can really beat any man or zone. Against man coverages, a lot of times you just have to throw it immediately before the defender, uh, the man coverage defender, typically like a linebacker or a safety, can come down to get close enough to the wheel route. If you wait too long, it can result in an interception. But if you throw it right away, a lot of times you can get a catch and run as long as you hit the sprint button. That's good for, you know, five to ten yards every single time, regardless of what the coverage. The wheel route in itself also kind of acts like a stretch run, as you don't really have an outside run. Throwing it to the wheel route a lot of times will feel like your outside run so it's really something that you're going to use in conjunction with the inside zone to the point where it really feels like you have two running options some of the other routes on the drive h wheel are very good against man coverage routes like the speed out route which is something that i've started to use recently it's a very good uh, man beating play it's also very good against things like cover three and cover four where the cornerbacks drop back your drag and your in route from the tight end are also both very good man beating routes but i feel like they put the ball in a little bit of a risk going over the middle of the field and i rarely throw to them but all three of those routes really beat man or zone based off of what you're looking at the best route though that really puts the ball out of danger is going to be the corner route if you're against any zone coverage all you have to do is streak the speed out route and the corner route will once again get open against any zone coverage because the speed out route on the streak will now pull back any cover three or cover four cornerbacks letting the corner route get open outside underneath them so that's something that especially if it's a cover two zone where typically you know that corner routes aimed right towards the gap between the cornerback and the safety you could easily have a one play touchdown with that play and it gets even glitchier when it comes to man coverages man coverages like cover zero and cover one where there's no safety over the top all you have to do and i've showed this many times in gameplay whether it's press man coverage or off man coverage is put the speed out route once again on a streak every single time you do this you'll notice that one of two animations will happen either the cornerbacks will get in each other's way or the receiver on the corner route will get in the way of the cornerbacks essentially getting the streak wide open for an instant one play touchdown once he gets about 20 to 30 yards down the field this can also be a one play touchdown against cover three which will give two in this formation other the plays that i'm about to go over to do this you really just have to run from a hash mark to the open side of the field and you're going to want to put pretty much every single receiver on streaks the corner route is going to be the cheese that pulls the cornerback away, which essentially gives you the opening for a one-play touchdown. Once the cornerback reacts to that corner route, all you have to do is bullet and pass lead away from the safety, and you have an easy one-play touchdown against cover three. So that's one way to score a one-play touchdown against cover three, but I have another one, and this one here is probably even better. This one here might be the best one-play touchdown against cover three in the game, and that is the fade-out. This particular play is going to be a very simple setup. You have to run from a hash mark to the open side of the field once again, but you only have to make one adjustment, and that's putting the out route on a comeback route which for whatever reason has the effect of pulling the outside cover three cornerback down or just holding it long enough that the wheel route can get open right over the top of it. So once again, you have to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field. This is because you're going to have to pass lead to the outside away from the cornerback to get this play open. A lot of times this can result in you catching the ball and going out of bounds, but you can also catch this ball a lot of times and be up the field for an easy catch and run one play touchdown. And then the last play is going to be the PA read. Now this play, Here's your one play touchdown against cover two zone, cover two man, as well as both cover four match and cover four regular. And the setup is pretty much the same the entire time. All you have to do is put the Y route on a fade and then put the tight end on a curl route. Now the zig route works against cover two man and cover two zone, but since you need to do the curl route for cover four, you might as well get into the habit of doing that unless you want that zig route for the check down. So whether you're facing cover two or cover four, the Y route on a fade will pull back the free safety while the 
curl route will pull down the strong safety, giving you wide open touchdowns against either defense. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more breakdown videos like this, not necessarily gameplays, but just getting more specific about the offenses that I'm using in general, please make sure to let me know in the comments section and hit the like button. Other than that, I do have more plays from this offense, like I was saying earlier in the video, three or four more plays. So if you want to see more plays to give you more diversity in this offense, I'll have a link to that popping up on screen right now. So check that out as I'm sure it'll help with your game. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.